Stanvik IBTC's profits after taxes for the full year of 2017 surged 69.6% from 28.5 billion in 2016 to 48.3 billion now in 2017. Of course, Yinka Sun, the CEO of Stambik IBTC Holdings, joins us now from the bank's floor to unpack the numbers. Yinka, thank you so much for taking the time out to join us today. Thank you for having me, Esther. Good afternoon. So another growth in headline earnings. Well, well most of, of course, uh, the, the line numbers are in the green. Talk us through the key drivers, especially the non-interest uh, income. We saw that also spike uh, uh, in the positive. And it, it appears that more banks uh, seem to be focusing on trading activities to boost the income, uh, given the attractive yield environment. Tell us about that. First, we have to thank God for enabling us last year. We're very grateful to God for all that uh, Stambik IBTC Holdings achieved. We're also very grateful to millions of uh, customers that gave us their trust uh, and allowed us to serve them during the year. And of course, not uh, the least by any means, we are thankful for our, cost our staff who did all the work, uh, all the credit uh, goes to them. Uh, it's a team we're very, very proud of. Uh, all our revenue lines last year uh, experienced double-digit growth. So interest income, uh, fees and commissions line, as well as trading revenues that grew by about 90%. So we saw all those lines um, grow very, very uh, decently. Uh, also, we were able to effectively manage the cost during the year. And so what you have seen, the outcome of those efforts um, is what led to the uh, approximately 90% growth in profit after tax. Uh, specifically, in terms of the uh, non-interest revenue to your question, uh, the two lines that uh, mainly comprise that um, item would be the fees and commissions uh, line uh, as well as the trading revenues line. The fees and commissions line um, is the outcome of our asset management business. So our asset management business in 2017 continued to experience um, witness decent and reasonable growth. Uh, and trading revenue um, almost doubled because uh, largely uh, there was increased liquidity in the FX market, many thanks to the opening of the I&E window um, about April of 2017. So, um, Yenka, can you talk us through um, the loan impairment charges? They rose to 172.7 172, billion now. What drove this increase? Yeah, thank you. The uh, impairment line was uh, surged or uh, increased um, as a result of a deliberate decision to deal with some troublesome loans in our commercial um, banking space. So we decided in 2017 that we would um, basically prov uh, fully provide for those loans um, and, and deal with them decisively. Uh, so the result of what you are seeing is that provision increased in the uh, commercial uh, and business banking space in 2017. Alinka, talk, talk to us about your loan book growth for 2018. I know that before now, uh, there's been that approach, that conservative approach to loan book growth. Uh, I know that there's still a lot of risks out there, but on the other hand, I understand that there's still some emerging opportunities, but help us understand your loan book growth projections for 2018 and those new opportunities that the, the, the bank will be seeking to pursue this year. Thank you. In 2017, you'll see that our loan uh, book grew by about 5%. Um, I, I think um, a rare feat uh, because I expect from what we hear from the analysts that many banks um, actually contracted. Uh, but at Stambik IBTC, our focus in 2018 would be to continue to um, grow our loan book responsibly. So we would continue to look for opportunities in those areas of the economy that we believe uh, will deliver uh, sustainable returns. 
And specifically, we are looking at opportunities in agriculture uh, to align with what our country is doing. We see opportunities um, in the agricultural space, especially those schemes uh, that are backed by the government of Nigeria. We also continue to see opportunities in the oil and gas space. Uh, those um, projects backed and supported by some IOCs, um, we are very, very keenly interested. And of course, the manufacturing space uh, continues to interest us. Uh, and like I mentioned, we're looking for opportunities in those areas uh, that align with our risk appetite, uh, as well as ensure that we are responsibly creating risk um, assets. So Inka, what now I'm really interested to find out is your bank's digital strategy in the, uh, in the coming year. Uh, thank you. Um, in the coming year, we would continue to um, ensure that we um, attend to our customers through our various channels um, and in the uh, digital space. Uh, I'm sure that you must be aware of um, Happiness, our uh, hub in 2017, our mobile hub in 2017, uh, usage and subscription to that platform grew by over 100%. And we expect that we'll continue to uh, grow that this year. Uh, we continue to recruit new clients uh, that are very interested in banking at Stambik IBTC, as well as tapping into the um, whole variety of offerings that we, uh, we have. Uh, so our three business lines, corporate and investment banking, personal and business banking, as well as wealth uh, management uh, poised and ready uh, to deliver new products, uh, both to new and um, existing clients. Ayinka, I know that uh, we're, we're seeing a little improvement in the economy, the uh, business environment, but what is your outlook for this year in terms, of, especially from a monetary policy uh, angle? We know that the CBN, we're hoping that the MPC will meet soon and of course give us their thoughts on uh, their forecast for the economy this year, but what are you hopeful for? We are very optimistic and hopeful that the Nigerian economy, having come out of recession in 2017, uh, will continue the positive run, uh, specifically uh, with the opening of the I&E window in April of last year. We have seen increased liquidity as well as increased interest from both local and foreign investors. And so at Stambik IBTC, we are optimistic uh, that the run will continue. You are aware that um, the country has seen inflation uh, go down, recede for more than 12 months um, or about 12 months um, in a row. Uh, and so with um, production of oil increasing, uh, as well as the price um, in the marketplace above the benchmark rate for our budget, as well as some of the efforts that uh, the country took whilst we were in recession, including expanding the base of agricultural production. We expect that this year, uh, the country should um, definitely grow uh, by maybe between two and three percent. And we are um, ready, willing uh, to take the opportunities that uh, will present themselves uh, in 2018.